if I told you the more vulnerable you were, the more possibilities would actually show up in your life and all from having a beginner's mind. Would you actually believe that? Well, that is what I'm gonna to talk to you about today. So before I do, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, which will notify you of when I'm posting, which is every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay, so I'm gonna start with uh, a couple of quotes. Actually, one quote from Brené Brown, who says, vulnerability is the birthplace of creativity, innovation and change. So when we have a beginner's mind, we open the opportunities for innovation, for change and for creativity. So I'm just going to share, this is from uh, Zen Buddhism and I really hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Oh my God. Um, it's Shoshan. Now Shoshan is a word from Zen Buddhism, meaning beginner's mind. It's basically having an open mind, an attitude of eagerness and with no preconceived ideas and just, yeah, just an attitude of wanting to learn, wanting to know, no matter what that situation is. It's an openness of the mind. Now, when we go into the world, and it's something that I have, you know, from, from, from studying this, um, I've realized that there are, there are things in my life that I'm still quite closed off in. And there's a reason why and I'll, explain, I'll explain that to you. But when we go into the world with a beginner's mind, we're literally opening up. We are. We're opening up risks. We're opening up ourselves to be vulnerable. We're opening up ourselves to be curious. We're opening up ourselves to inquire. We're opening up ourselves to question not only whatever it is that um, we're thinking of doing or how we want to show up, but we're questioning our doubts too. And the more questions that we can ask ourselves, the more possibilities, the more opportunities are going to start showing up and reflecting back at us because we're starting to become more and more aware. So having a beginner's mind is being curious, it's being uncertain, it's taking risks, it's being vulnerable. It's saying yes instead of no, it's saying maybe instead of I'm not sure. You know, it's, it's absolutely massive. And when you have a beginner's mind, you have opened up your world to amazing possibilities that are out there that you can't even conceive of at the moment but you're starting that journey to think well you know what if what if I could do that I've never done that before you know can I can I do that I don't know but you know give it a go and just see what happens having that attitude of openness of willingness of eagerness can literally just transform the trajectory of your life because you have no idea what actually is going to come from the the openness from come from the beginner's mind you have no preconceived ideas you're literally open to let's just see what if it worked out what if i was good at that um, what if I'm not good at that? Well, that doesn't matter because I can try something else, you know. It opens up your mind and the, like I said, the possibilities that that would then create are phenomenal. You know, if, if we all looked at life when we were absolutely certain, let's think about, you know, times where we're like, no, we're absolutely certain. That's how we want it to be. That's how it's going to happen you're closing off. They're not saying that that's wrong at all, because in certain areas of life, you know, we need certainty. But what we're doing is we are absolutely reducing the amount of possibilities that actually can come and opportunities that can come from that, because we know exactly how it's going to be. It doesn't mean that it's right or wrong. But when we're more uncertain, when we're more curious, when we're more open, when we're more eager to try something that we've never done before, to go, I don't know if I can do that. And I'm a little bit nervous about it. I'm a bit scared. We start questioning ourselves, you know, well, why are we feeling that way? You know, what if it worked out really well? What if you were actually really good at that? That's something that you would never have thought of trying before. The possibilities are endless. And that is what it means by having a beginner's mind. Now, there are areas in my life that I have instantly gone, no, not doing that. No, sorry, not doing that, not taking part in that. And 
it comes from a place of fear. It comes from a place of doubt. It comes from a place of uncertainty about my abilities. And what I've done is I've shut myself off from just trying something. And I, I recognize I, I've done that a lot when I felt, um, when I haven't felt safe and secure in situations. You know, when somebody's asked me to do something, it could be meeting a big group of people. And um, as much as I'm really, really confident, there are times I'll just go, no, no, I'm not doing that. No, 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 you, you go, you go, it's fine. You know, I'm shutting myself off from opening up to the possibilities of, you know, what if I met somebody that could actually help me transform my business? What if an opportunity arose there? What if I received, um, you know, what, what if I started speaking to somebody and they needed my coaching services, you know, or what if somebody said something to me that um, I hadn't thought of before, which could help my business or you know, anything, it just, when we shut our minds off, and, and like I said, I've, I've, we shut ourselves off by saying no, um, we, we are limiting the possibilities that and opportunities that can actually show up and arise from just, you know, giving something a go and being eager to try something. And what happens is, is when we shut ourselves off, when we don't use that beginner's mindset, we are leading with the ego. So when I was saying, no, absolutely not, I'm leading with my ego. My ego is now controlling me and it's telling me, no, don't want to go there. They're not going to like you. They're not going to want to be around you. They're going to ridicule you. And, you know, you've had enough of that in your life. So let's just keep you safe. Just say no, it's easier that way. And that's how I used to think, actually, about a lot, a lot of things um, about me because I had such low self-esteem. But that, that's what I did. So I would actually shut myself off by using my e but basically because my I was allowing my ego to control me, you know, and look at all the possibilities I said if I'd said yes to some of these situations, the, the possibilities and the opportunities that could have arisen, you know, something that I couldn't have even thought of um, could have come from it. You know, it could have just been simply that I made some new friends. Simple as that. It could have been that, you know, who knows? But there were more possibilities for me being, uh, for me having a beginner's mindset and going, well, what if, you know, maybe, maybe I could do that. Maybe it will work out. Maybe it will be okay. You know, I won't know unless I try. Um, and so, yeah, so when we, when we're not using our beginner's mindset, we're literally allowing the ego to control us, to control our lives, to keep us safe and comfortable and secure. Um, and yeah, limiting our opportunities for having a life that we truly want, deserve and desire. So with regards to that quote that I started with at the beginning, which was from Brené Brown, and she says, so vulnerability is a birthplace of creativity, curiosity, and I can't remember what she said now, creativity, curiosity, uh, sorry, creativity, innovation, and change. But Brené Brown also says something about stepping into the arena. She also uses a quote about stepping into the arena. Um, actually, it's not Brené Brown. Um, it's a, uh, an American president who, um, whose um, name I, I, I forget um, for now. Um, but it's all about stepping into the arena. It's, it's you know, it's going in um, one step at a time, you know, knowing that there could be things facing you. Your fears are in there. You know, that lion that's in there that's, that, you know, wants to eat you. It's your fears and it's facing your fears. Um, and it's saying yes, and it's never giving up. So yeah, I just wanted to add that being, so I, I love that bit. I can't remember, I can't remember what the president's name is, but anyway, there's an American president. I'll think about it probably after I finish recording. So yeah, so that really is what a beginner's mind is and how you can just by having more of an eager attitude, just by being more open, just by questioning yourself and being curious, inquiring, you know, yes, things are going to be uncertain. It's the uncertainty that can create more of these possibilities and more of these opportunities for you. So just something to think about. Um, the next time something shows up and you would normally have said no to, take a step back. That no is from your ego. Think about it. Question, what if? Who knows what could happen? Anyway, that is my video for today. Um, I really hope you like that. And if you have any questions about beginner's mindset or coaching, I am available for one-to-one -one coaching. And I do offer a free 30-minute uh, consultation along with um, 
our a, a questionnaire to complete. So yeah, that's it for today. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you soon.